Hi, it's Carrie. In today's 5 Minute Friday, I wanted to offer you some protocol guidance for systematic and scoping reviews. When you are starting a systematic or a scoping review, you'll need to first write the protocol, which details what you're going to do and how you're going to do it. Now, there's a couple of different places that you can look for protocols and probably even beyond what I'll show you today, but these are a few of my favorites. We'll start with the Cochrane Handbook. So as I've said before, even if you're not doing a Cochrane review, the Cochrane Handbook offers guidance for anyone doing a systematic review. And you'll find guidance about the protocol in Chapter 2, Planning a Cochrane Review. And in Chapter 2, Part 1, we'll click on Undertaking a Cochrane Review. And if you scroll down a little bit, Section 2.1.4, talks about Cochrane protocols. It tells you where to look for the justification of a protocol and how to structure your protocol. So we see that in box 2.1.A. It tells you how to structure the protocol so that it aligns with Cochrane's scope and goals. But as I mentioned, you can do this even if you're not doing a Cochrane review. The next one is the PRISMA statement. The PRISMA statement is their preferred reporting items for systematic reviews and meta-analyses, and they have a number of extensions. So I went to Extensions. Scrolling to the right, you'll see Protocols. Here's our protocol. There's a statement paper, an explanation and elaboration paper, and then the checklist, which I always like because it sums things up very nicely. So we'll go to the PRISMA P checklist. This is the PRISMA Protocol Checklist. Recommended items to address in a systematic review protocol. Let's just take a look. There are 17 items, and you can read more about them in the elaboration and explanation document from 2015. Now let's say you're doing a scoping review, which has a different goal and output from a systematic review. Well, the JBI Evidence Synthesis Manual has quite a bit to say about scoping reviews. In Chapter 11, Section 11.2 tells you the justification for a scoping review protocol and where you can register it because Prospero does not accept scoping review protocols. But at this time, Open Science Framework OSF or Figshare or some other repositories do accept scoping review protocols. And in fact, if you scroll down the left side, sections 11.2.1 through 11.2.9 all discuss the scoping review protocol. And just a reminder that within chapter 11 of the JBI Manual for Evidence Synthesis, there's the Prisma Scoping Review Extension fillable checklist. So there is a Word version and a PDF version and if you scroll down, you can see what that checklist looks like for reporting your scoping review. I hope this helped you find some protocol guidance for your systematic or scoping review. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.